Belters and welcome. My name is Philippa and welcome if you're new and welcome back if you see me before. Thanks for coming back. So it's the 3rd of November. I thought I would just get started. Normally we have a good old week off but do you know there's so much going on I thought I'd keep you updated on it. So let's have a look through. So my desk is looking a mess but it's really in a good way. So I'm filming for these guys because I've got my craft fair in a couple of days and I really need to get to finish this kit here the full video tutorial for it then I've had more orders so I had four orders yesterday for cards and kits and notepads and then three orders today so for me it's not being funny but I kind of feel like a real small business when I'm packing these small orders as well so it's really really lovely I've got my massive 200 pounds worth of wool there that's what it looks like I think I've shown you all the bits and bobs in there so that's sitting there I've got to make up new kits I finished Mr Barn Owl um, and he's on his spindle and actually someone has baxed him already he's not technically for sale yet he's going to come to the craft fair as an example but um, he's he's already sold really to be fair so really pleased with him Still really pleased with my hair. It's really juicy. And I've changed my hair colour back because the pink just wasn't going. The um, It's a golden brown, but it's so not. My hair picks up the red. But I thought to go to the craft fair, I really wanted to have my hair all one colour. So I've dyed it back. But lots to get on with. So I'm all packed up for the craft fair. <coughs> These are all, I'm going to take 10 kits. Everything's packed in there. Um, in my bags. I am just doing this border felt kits. I'm actually, I'm hoping to wear this poppy brooch tomorrow. Shelves are empty. Everything is packed up into crates and I just thought it looked really nice on a wet afternoon just to put my candle on and put my lights on and do a bit of felting. Just wanted to show you this quickly. This is um, Huddersfield University. I've been looking for my son because he's interested in maybe going to university. This is the art department in this huge building. Look at all the individual pods. The facilities were astonishing. They're making carpets. They've got this room full of uh, looms. Look how many they have. Look at all the colour threads on the walls. Um, so yeah, I was so impressed with it. This is where they obviously do the designing for clothing, but this whole building, there's lots of departments within it and it's really open plan so they can all work together. So that's really great. This was dying down the bottom. Then these uh, mills were full up as well with university. There was computers on one side. And then this is the library. This is one floor of its six floors. It was astonishing. And then this is the foyer of the library. <laughs> and then here I am fireworks night can't go out because one of my dogs suffers quite badly but I can actually see the fireworks uh, from my window which was really lovely evening and then the craft fair all set up and ready I tried to sort of film it at the beginning of the day I've got my cards out and I've got my kits there did really well I sold about 450 pounds so a very good craft fair <clears throat> excuse me I was really pleased with it and, but I thought this was funny on the way home. What must I look like with all these animal faces in my car? A bit peculiar. So I did the craft fair yesterday. Today I am desperately trying to get this poppy video out, which is beautiful. You know, really. Yeah, Focus is really pleased. I'll show you again. Yeah, it's lovely. So cute. Um... But as you can see, I am shattered. I am so tired. I just want to lie on the sofa and go to sleep. But no, this has got to be out. I've got my sister coming to stay tomorrow. And I've got to go and walk the dogs still. At least it's stopped raining. But... <laughs> Hi, so how are you doing? Uh, 
I'm just doing a little bit of felting because I thought I'd have a quick chat. So I took the whole weekend off, which was really good. I like didn't do any well I do do a little bit of work um but I tried not to sort of felt anything so that was really good and now I am doing the pdf um for my sheet kit which I just keep putting off but I have found on google no sorry on word that you can dictate um now so it will you can say the words and it will type it so i'm thinking that would be really really good and that make life a lot lot easier i've practiced a little bit and it seems to work really well so i've just um i'm just taking all the photos but it means i have to make another three sheet baubles which you kind of get really fed up of doing legs once you've done a few sheet baubles <laughs> but i'm getting there um i've got lots of stuff i sort of want to sell and sort out in the garage for christmas so that was kind of why i took the weekend off you know like kids toys and now's the time to sell them playmobile lots of playmobile stuff um, i've ordered some picture you know uh picture frames or shadow box frames i'm going to do a few more 2d felts because i really enjoyed the poppy um kit that i did i really really enjoyed it uh, so I'm going to try and do a few more bits like that and I'm going to work with Heidi Feathers as well on another video probably at the beginning of December for um, a flat sort of 2D felt uh, for some of her colours so I thought that would be really good. There we go, I'll finish that sheet bauble. Really looking forward to getting this sheet bauble kit done and the Highland Cow kits have been selling really well as well. They are, I've only got two left and I'm waiting for the next batch of uh leaflets and stuff like that so it's it's a real catch-up game all the time have i got enough kit um you know foam mats have i got enough protectors have i got enough needles have i got enough wool so you're constantly checking inventory so i wouldn't ever want to do too many kits but yeah enjoying it so far hopefully it'll be good when i get this one done wet miserable day wet walk with the dogs this has just arrived just opened it this is all my leaflets <laughs> I just drop them all. <gasps> it's gonna take me ages to put them all back in order. What a pain. I'm just starting the base of this sheep because I've nearly finished the um, Highland, uh, not the Highland cow, the sheep baubles kit. But just to show you, I'm using the um, felted Herdwick. They're on Etsy. I'm using their Herdwick carded bats, which um, the lady kindly contacted me a while ago and offered me a free sample. And I have to say, it felt really, really well. So I'm just using it as the base. It's quite dark. Sorry about the fact that the light's not very great. And it's got... Um, a lot of, I mean, the Herdwick wool is is a little bit coarse, but that's normal. But it's um, fantastic as a base, most definitely. So I'll link her down below. But yeah, so I've just started on this sheep. I'm not sure what coat to do yet. I'll make up my mind in a minute. So it's the 21st. Um, I am waiting on instructions for the uh, sheep bauble kit at the moment. Um, I am still doing that sheep over there I showed you a minute ago, but just to show you the development process so i've had this idea in my head for ages it is a hedge shroom so it's a hedgehog mushroom cross it's not going to be a mush hog i don't like the name mush hog hedge shroom and obviously there are hedge rooms out there um i don't know about needle felted ones i'm sure there must be but a lot of them have the mushroom on the top but i really like him being in a mushroom so um <laughs> just developing it and this is what happens so I have an idea I sketch it out badly <clears throat> and then um, the eyes went on this coloring went on so um, I'm quite happy with the hands and feet we're going to have uh, the joining fur sort of round there covering up this weird bit um, the eyes were too far up they were up there so we need to put them down I can't show you it's quite tricky I need to put them down a bit so yeah he does look a bit creepy weird um 
so I've cut them off and then this colouring needs to be different. So this is all the process of the, the practising and my daughter's so good. She comes in and we have a little <clears throat> chat about what's working, what's not working um, and trying to work out why. Because the eyes, you can see they're okay position, but actually they make a big difference when they're a little bit further. I cannot do this with one hand when they're further down. And closer to the nose, he looks cuter. And we all like to have a, a headroom looking cute. So, yeah, this is the first practice. And I'm going to do him as a PDF for my... I don't know why I've decided to do that. But, yeah, he's going to be a PDF. So, Henry headroom is done. Gosh, that's dark, isn't it? There we go. So, he's really sweet. So, yeah, I'm going to do him as a... PDF. He's got little hands and feet. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with him in the end. He's a little bit hairy there. But yeah, he's cute. He can hide as a mushroom in a field if he wants to. <laughs> I've just put him on Instagram so see what people think. have arrived and I always like to show you sorry I look a mess dog walking mess but I'll show you these items so first up I ordered some really cute tiny little antlers I'm going to try and do something with them um, I did have to pay extra postage that the person I bought them from didn't pay which was three pounds fifty extra so I'm not going to recommend them yet but um, really cute really pleased with them quite a nice pair and then um, Zoe Robson I auctioned some more wool and she's been doing some bauble um, sort of ceramic discs she's an artist if you didn't know as well she's very very talented um, but look at this the valet isn't it gorgeous I'm really really pleased with that one really pleased thank you Zoe uh, fleece for you I'll link her down below she's got lots of other Christmas sort of ceramic um, I wouldn't call them baubles, ceramic discs. They're gorgeous, love it. Here's the sheep bauble kit, finally all finished with the PDF all done, the instructions printed out, because I have to order them to get them printed out. And um, there's a video on YouTube as well that goes alongside it. But here it is with all the wools crammed in, so really pleased. I tidied up my shelves again, and I got all my creations onto the shelves to make room on the shelf other shelves to the side for the kits did my little christmas tree decoration i found this guy in the range and then got my christmas stuff out and he was in there so they were both very very similar and i put my other little christmas tree out too um there's all the shelves cleared so hopefully that'll be full up with kits the sun is shining in it's so beautiful when the sun shines but i really have to work on getting my wool collection down and I had the most orders I'd had over the weekend as well. Good morning. So it's the 29th and I've been really, really busy. I feel I haven't spoken that much to the camera, but my Etsy shop basically has done over £1,300 this month, which is amazing. It's the most my shop has ever done. And obviously I think that's mostly down to the kits and to my jumpers. They've been selling really well as well. Um, so I've been busy basically I haven't not been filming because I've been lazy or anything but so I've been I've got another four kits to pack up from last night I've just ordered more wool from world of wool it's really hard because you don't know how much you're gonna need but I think the kits will slowly sell over Christmas because when people are um, they have a holiday and they're sitting at home they sort of start looking at new crafts and things like that over the holidays and then I still think I might sell a few more in January so I need to be a little bit prepared for that so I've got four of the sheep bauble kit left and one of the Highland cow so I just spent another you know like nearly 200 pounds worth of wool 
again at World of Wool. And every time you do that, it's like, oh my God, it's so much money. But um, it's worth it in the end by the time you uh, sort of add it all up. And, and yes, the profit I make, I keep saying it's profit, it's the labour for me making them up, basically, for getting paid to make them up and then to take them down to the post office. But it is really satisfying and it's really pleasing and it's lovely that people are enjoying the kits. So, and um, I definitely take on board any feedback. So please do send me feedback. Now, the other thing I forgot to explain was, because I said, oh, I'm just doing videos for my kits. Well, when I went to the craft fair, I sold five of the Highland Cow kits and every person I sold to, I said, oh, do you watch YouTube or does the person that you're giving this to watch YouTube? And several people said no because that's where I would put the video. And one of them, it was a lady, she was buying it for her mum. And I said, has she ever used YouTube? And she said, no, not at all. So that highlighted to me that there's no way I could just do video because so many people would probably be upset to open the kit and there's not be a set of instructions. And so if I'm going to do a set of instructions, I do them as thoroughly as I can. My PDFs are quite, <clears throat> quite long. So that's why I ended up doing the PDF for the sheet baubles and that's why it took me so long to do. But that's where, even though sometimes I think, oh, I could stop doing the craft fairs one day, I couldn't really because the feedback is 100% essential to my business. Um, I am doing this valet wool. I'm getting, it's just so hairy. This wool is really, it's quite, um, it's not a soft, it's it's a real sort of proper valet wool because um, quite often I've had lamb's wool before and it's a little bit softer, but this is definitely a valet wool. But So I'll show you a little bit more of that. I've got the horns and the feet to do and the black bits as well because the black wool, it's really hard to get black curly wool. So now I generally make my own curly wool. Um, so that one and the nice blue face Leicester sheep up there, I really think I'm going to keep them for Holmfirth Art Week next year. I'm gonna have a collection of sheep in there and a collection of Highland cows, and I might not get in. I'm gonna apply and see if I can get in. But I don't want to be panicked closer to the time trying to make stuff and not having the right wools and everything. So if I just keep some set aside, and I do, I love that one. I just, I, I thought, no, the other day I took photos of him and I thought, no, put him on Etsy, sell him, that's what you've got to do. I really like him <laughs> so I deleted all the photos I'm keeping him but so I would sell him in Holmfirth Art Week um that's that's everything for now but I'll um let you I'll show you some of the valet sheep as we're doing him so <laughs> So here's the valet all done and I'm really happy with his coat and how he came out and his horns and everything. So he's on the shelf for a bit. Um, this was this morning. There was beautiful mist rolling down the Peak Districts. So I'm going to end this um, vlog here. Just wanted to say a big thank you for everyone being here and for all your views. It really, really counts. We're getting the Christmas stuff out. I really hope you have a great holiday um, season coming up. And I've got a couple more videos in December and then we're going to do a roundup at the end of the year about how the business has been going. But thanks everybody and we'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.